each one of you has won one major so far this year, and I guess I'll just start it off by what does it mean to you to be a major champion, especially for Michelle and Lexi, who this is the first time to have that title. Michelle, what yeah. does that title mean? It, I mean, it's absolutely still surreal for me. It just doesn't seem real yet. Um, you know, just to be sitting on this table next to NB and Lexi, you know, as a major championship, I'm as a major champion, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. I feel so grateful. I feel extremely honored to be, you know, with these fellow players. Um, but, you know, it's just a, it's been a lot of fun this year, um, and we're just really happy to be back at Evian. Indy, you won a few majors, especially last year winning three, but what did it mean to you to, to go to Wegmans and win that major championship two years in a row? And, and does a major championship still mean as much when you capture one? Yeah, I think it just never gets less. I think, you know, the more you win, I think it gets, it, it, you actually know, you know, what it actually really means. So, and it's, you know, it is such a, you know, it's still such a great honor, and um, I never defended my title before, and I just did that um, three weeks ago in um, Wegmans, so I think that was a very special accomplishment, and um, yeah, obviously, this year at the British Open, I, you know, almost, you know, did my career Grand Slam, but um, I missed by a little bit, so yeah, hopefully I have another chance this week, so hopefully I can uh, pull it up this week a little bit better. And Lexi, like Michelle, you now have major champion next to your name. Mm. What does it feel like when you get on that tee and they announce you as the Kraft Nabisco champion? <laughs> it's definitely been different to get used to, to be introduced as a major champion. It's such a huge honor. I mean, coming into the year, that was one of my goals, especially the Kraft Nabisco. I've always, I love that golf course there at Mission Hills. and. Um, I, I always have my family there with me, so it's a nice relaxing week, but I've always imagined myself jumping into Poppy's Pond. But um, like I said, it's, just, it's a huge honor to be a major championship winner, and um, you know, I love every bit of it, and I'm happy to be back here in France. I know, as I said earlier, a major championship on the line this week, but also our new award, the Rolex Annika Major Award. First time it's ever been given out, and it's given to the player who performs the best in the majors over all five majors in a season. One of the stipulations is that you have to win a major, so you three ladies have that advantage in that you already have a major championship under your belt. But Michelle, what would it mean to walk away with an award like that in its first year and be the first person to win that? I would, uh, I mean, I, I as soon as I heard it in the meeting last year that we're going to have a civil award, it's definitely been, been one of my biggest goals. Um, you know, unfortunately, I didn't play so well British and had to miss the last major. So, you know, I'm really thankful that for the fifth major and, you know, I have a good chance this, this week. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to play extra hard this week and see what I can do. But, you know, obviously it's a, it's a very prestigious award with Annika being, you know, in the presenter and everything. I think it just... It's definitely something I really want to win. I've been thinking about it since last year, but you know, there's nothing I can do. I just I think that good golf kind of takes care of it. Um, I just know that in the back of my mind that I really want to win it. But I'm just going to go this week and just have fun and see what happens in the end. Lexi, two top ten finishes so far for you with the win, and then a tie for seventh at the U.S. Women's Open, earning points towards this award. How are you feeling about your game right now, and are you, how do you feel about your chances at being able to walk away with that award? Yeah, I feel really good about my game right now. I've been practicing extremely hard, um, especially in the off season coming into this year. But um, you know, I'm just gonna play this event, try to do my best, and that's really all I can do. But I mean, this award means a lot. I've always looked up to Annika, so uh, she's always been a huge role model to me. So it would mean a lot to win that award. But you know, I'm just gonna go out there, try to do my best, and see where that goes. Indy, if this award had been given last year, you would have ran away with it, with the three major wins. Now, being in contention for it, what would it mean to you to be able to, to walk away with that award? You know, it's given by the legendary player like, you know, Annika, so I think it's, you know, even more special. And obviously, it would have been nice if it was there last year. <laughs> but, you know, this year is going to be obviously a um, little bit more um, work needed to be done and yeah you know I really like the competition and you know this award you know is gonna mean a lot to everyone and um, you know everyone you know sitting here has chance and they're gonna play very hard as well so um, yeah that really um, you know encourages me to play well as, as well so um, yeah it's gonna you know mean a lot obviously to everyone so yeah hopefully I can you know do my best here. 